deal. Hey there, welcome again to The Real Deal. Uh, this product I'm going to show you today uh, is kind of funny because when these things first came on the market, uh, I started to see some people using them and I thought, well, what do we need that for? You know, I'm a cat fisherman, I grab my fish by my hands or, uh, you know, I don't need these things. Well, these things here, these fish grips, uh, turned out to be something that I can't go fishing without anymore. Um, a few years ago, we uh, went up to Canada fishing these large uh, channel catfish. And anyone who's fished channel catfish, or I'm, I'm sure blues as well, uh, when you put your hand in their mouth, they like to clamp down, and it can uh, clamp down really hard and, and uh, really hurt, actually. If flatheads are a little different, you know, you can grab them by the lip, and, and there's actually, their lip actually kind of makes like a little handle, so, uh, but even then, you know, even flatheads, when they start thrashing around, you know, they can do some damage as well. In fact, uh, I just got one here from the other night. Got some nice little rash on my hand. Um, but anyways, uh, these fish grips, um, like I said, we went up fishing to Canada catching these 20 to 30 pound channel catfish and, uh, and they really came in handy. We, we weighed all our fish and what's really handy about these things is that if you like weighing your fish, um, you just clamp these on and you take your, you know, your favorite scale and it's got a nice little hole in here and there you go, you can weigh it in. And these have been, from what I've been told from the uh, manufacturer, they hold up to 250 pounds. So uh, it's not coming off. And now you'll also have to, uh, it weighs about five ounces, so you have to subtract that from your final weight. But uh, it's got this nice little lanyard here. And I've also been told that, you know, catfish like to, sp to spin around when you got them on this thing. So make sure you use that lanyard and just let them go. If they decide to go and spin or thrash, just let them, go, let them go like that and uh, you'll be fine. Um, this particular one here uh, is made by BottomDwellers.com. Um, it's red, white, and blue, so if you, you know, want to show your American pride, uh, go to Bottom Dwellers. You can also get them uh, from Team Catfish. They make a yellow version. Um, but really, the fish grip, if you go to thefishgrip.com, um, you can find them all kinds of different colors. They got, you know, black, uh, green, blue, even have glow in the dark. Um, also I've been told that the yellow team catfish ones are made of a little different polymer, um, a little more flexible, and I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just what I've been told. Um, it's funny because when we were up in Canada we had an orange pair and we had a fish thrash around and, and the grip hit the boat and it did actually break the grip. The new oh! <laughs> we busted one of those fish clips. Video here. Look at that, that's what happens right there. And that was an orange one and, and I've had yellow ones and, and this one here I haven't had any issues with this one here at all but we did have the one break so um, you know maybe there's some merit to that uh, different poly polymer being a little more softer. Um, I can't feel the difference. I have both the yellow one and this red white and blue one and I can't tell the difference uh, between you know the yellow ones or the red white and blue ones so um, but yeah anyways these things are definitely the real deal. And, uh, you know, there's also other uses of these, too. Um, in a pinch, you can use them for a brush, brush grip. You know, just tie a piece of rope and, and grab onto a, a tree or whatever for your boat. Um, and also, if, if you have a fish that might need, need a little more reviving or, or uh, you know, you just want to keep it for a little while, you can actually, you know, clamp this on with a piece of rope and just throw them out on, over the side of the boat and, and they'll, you know, swim around. This thing is not coming off. I guarantee you this is not coming off. It's, it's like a vice grip. Like I said, it's rated up to like 250 pounds, so once it's on, it's on. Um, also, don't forget to take this off when you go to throw the fish overboard, or at least make sure you have the lanyard on, because I've heard of a few instances where you go to release the fish and, and they take off with it in their mouth, because uh, it's got such a good grip on it, so be sure to do that. What we do when we release them is, you know, I have the lanyard on and then I make sure I just open it and a lot of times it'll still stay on that lip and then you just have to shake it off a little bit but uh, and these will work not just for catfish these will work for any fish I've used them for uh, a pike and walleye or bass you know you don't have to be co so concerned about you know a bass's teeth or whatever but if you're fishing like a crankbait or something it works great just for holding that fish and and pulling that hook out you know that you know treble hook or whatever with a with a pliers you know probably keep from getting a hook in your hand you know, a couple other things I'll mention here really quickly too is, uh, you know, I talked about the orange pair we had breaking. 
I contacted the guys at the fish grip and, and instantly, you know, they replied back saying they were sending me a new pair. I mean, the, the customer service is top notch and, and they're just good old American Southern boys, you know, and, and uh, it's just a good company to work with. Um, and also, these do float too. You know, you have the, uh, you can get uh, the, the Boca grip or whatever, you know, some of those uh, saltwater versions, you know, the stainless steel uh, grips. If you lose those over the boat, they're gone. In fact, you'll see a lot of guys will actually tie some sort of big, you know, swim noodle or float onto them so they don't lose them. But uh, I really don't see the advantage of spending $100 on a fish grip because, like I said, these work great. And if they go overboard, they're floating. So yeah, go uh, go to the fish grip or go to bottomdwellers.com or Team Catfish and just pick one up. They're 15 to 20 bucks and they're worth uh, they're worth every penny for sure. Uh, thanks again for watching.